Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and welcome back to episode 6 of Civilization 5 as Gandhi. We are attempting to get the Bollywood Steam achievement, which is to basically get a cultural victory with only having three or fewer cities. Well, we have our three. I'm a little bit worried about what happens if you capture somebody else's city. Obviously you cannot keep it. I'm not sure whether or not puppeting uh, is allowed either. Um, but if we were to capture a city and raise it instantly... Would we get away with getting the achievement? Uh, I don't think we have to worry too much about Shaka. I mean, he might try and declare war as an again. I, d I just noticed he's actually settled another city down here in the Bamba. Um, but I think our biggest problem at the moment is probably going to be um, Korea because they seem to be getting some tourism out already. Uh, so let us uh, let's just double check that we dealt with that, and indeed we did, because uh, he's going to be dealing with um, Korea's. Uh, missionaries hopefully so let's go on to the next turn Jamie doesn't lose a few of those missionaries metal casting is done we can fire on an enemy um, I don't want it to pillage my fishing boat so I'm gonna take it out as much as I would love it to get rid of those uh, annoying missionaries uh, let's go and have a quick look see what our uh, best trade route would be so the best trade route available via land uh, we want gold. Uh, land trade route uh, we're not doing is Vijayanagar to Zhengzhou. So uh, we are Vijayanagar to Zhengzhou. There we go. So that's the most profitable trade route we can run at the moment. We're actually getting a decent amount of money. Cocoa for dyes. Yep, that's fine. If I uh, actually manage to complete this achievement run, then it does end up being super easy. Then I'll probably do the next one on um, Emperor, because maybe King is a little bit too easy. But you've got to check sometimes. Um, we have grown again in population. We're starting to work some not-so-brilliant tiles anymore, but we are doing what we can. Would have been nice if we'd have actually... Well, I don't think we ever had a chance of getting that one, so we don't mind that too much. Uh, Chichen Itza has been built in a land far away. I don't think that's one that I was working on, so I'm not particularly bothered. Uh, you want to buy spices from me. How about you give me seven gold per turn? Then sod off. I'll sell them to somebody else. If you don't want to give me the money for them. Probably got spices of his own anyway, which is why he's not willing to do the offer. Uh, we do need to build up a bit of a, an army, because I assume we will be having to fight Korea at some point. Um, yeah, Notre Dame's faith, not really needed. We, we were doing physics to get the trebuchet uh, in order to use that against Korea at some point, possibly. So what do we want to do? I don't think we want to go farms everywhere. I think we might want to get a couple of lumber mills around. The food situation is not all that bad, so it would be nice to get a little bit of extra production. So let's go and work on a lumber mill or two. Still seeing a few soldiers from VODs. We've also built a fort up here. We might go and build another one. I think I was planning on building another one. Um sort of up here to deal with Shaka if he tries to come in again. It says we should make this a farm. It is on a floodplain, so that's not a terrible idea. We probably want to grab a fort down here on the tundra, so that's definitely something that we can do because our workers aren't going to be particularly busy for a while. Definitely a few farms and things that we can, uh, we can sort of get built. Uh, borders of Delhi have grown. It's just a sea tile, so nothing really interesting or exciting about that. The Great Mosque of Jen has been built somewhere. Open borders with Sejong has ended. We don't really need those. Vijayanagar has grown and now has a fish tile. So what we might want to do here at Delhi is um, quickly uh, slip a workboat in there after the market. Uh, production. We have finished the amphitheatre. Well, that's not terrible. Uh, what else would we like to get over here? Let's go and get a university as quick as we can. We've got a lot of unemployed citizens here, I've just noticed. Um, well, we should be working the Artists Guild for a start. There we go. Not too sure why it was saying we had so many people unemployed right there. But those tiles aren't too bad. One turn until we get city growth. There's a lot of food here. A lot of food. So we should probably try and build all of our um, like specialist buildings there now. 
you guys have done here, I think you're going to come over and build us a fort here. Although they could, of course, attack from um, the Bamba now, but I'm not overly concerned by that. Uh, we've got another caravan here. Uh, so second highest trade route by land would be Vijayanagar to Lundi. So let's go and do that, which is what we were doing anyway. So we want this on highest gold. We probably want to get rid of some of these caravans and replace them with cargo ships as soon as possible. We actually have a deficit on iron now as well, which is not good because that's going to be affecting our swordsmen. Um, but we'll be able to upgrade those um, soon anyway. So we want to go in to get musketmen as quickly as possible. Uh, unit needs orders. This worker has now finished. Let's go and uh, take this suggestion. We'll do lumber mill farm so he doesn't have too far to wander. Um, Mumbai has grown again. We didn't deal with it on the last turn, but it should have put the guy somewhere useful. So we've got a great artist coming. Declaration of friendship with Korea has expired. Let's see if we can um, get that going again. Yep, still willing to do so. This game is definitely on um, epic pace. Yeah, it feels like it's going rather fast for some reason. Maybe that's because we've got the quick combat and everything on. So you guys go and do a lumber mill just there. And now Daddy has grown. And you could be working the market to give us some extra money, but I don't think you really need to do that. So I'll just leave it on uh, sort of the auto assign for the time being. 25 turns until Delhi grows, actually, though. It's pretty slow. Um, so go ahead and put you on uh, default focus, actually. And you should be working at least some of the food tiles. 13 turns until you grow. That seems more reasonable. Let's unlock that. We've got um, two food tiles locked in when we could have three food tiles. That should definitely be locked. Um, we've got one spare citizen now. Uh, so we'll put you... I guess... Well, you're going to be making that into a lumber mill. So let's go ahead and put you there. We'll get a little bit of extra production out of you soon. Uh, you guys, I would like you to construct a fort. Just in cases. We might also want to build a road. You don't need open borders. Yeah, we might want to put a bit of road in there just so we can quickly get to our fort. Losing grasp on Singapore. We've got a work boat. Um, did we just clear a forest or something? That was a lot quicker than I expected. Uh, either way, you're going to have to get yourself over here because we want to work that fish tile. And on to the next turn. So you move in there and create fishing boats that should just make that a better tile overall so we're on default focus uh, stop working that tile move into that one is better on to the next turn not an awful lot to do on some of these turns a lot of imp is moving around up here near Alundi. He may well declare war on us again I wouldn't be the slightest bit surprised uh, we have finished physics um, let's start working through steel into gunpowder the more quickly we can do that, we don't have to rely on iron anymore. So we definitely want to work on that one. And we get ourselves a new policy. Still can't pick up rationalism yet. Cultural centres isn't that great for us, although we will be building amphitheatres, opera houses and stuff, so it is well worth it. Uh, but we do want to try and finish aesthetics as quickly as possible. <laughs> Uh, you guys have built that lumber mill. Let's go and uh, I think we'll have a lumber mill here because we do have a lot of food. So we'll do another lumber mill. Uh, have a caravan that was going to Singapore. Uh, looks like that's still probably one of the higher gold routes, so we'll carry on with that. And once again, on to the next turn we go. I keep hearing something outside my headphones. I think it's the wind blowing down the chimney. It's incredibly windy today. We're supposed to have thunderstorms, but I haven't heard any. So we've got these annoying um, Korean missionaries coming around. Uh, we shouldn't have to worry too much about them. Because we do have our own religion now, but it's still very, very annoying. We want to try and sort of push them out. Uh, Vijayanagar has grown. Again, it's on default focus, so it should be okay. Yeah, I do wish you'd stop that. He's even using great profits now. 
mean, we could tell him to stop, but he probably won't. And we're gonna, I think we're just going to have to go and give him a good kick in at some point. But we will need to get some trebuchets in order to do that. Look at that. It's another prophet. He's, re he's actually flipped it. He's actually managed to flip my capital city by spamming it with great profits so much. So that's not fantastic. It, may it should still flip back, though, because it, it is still the holy city for Githianism. So it should still eventually flip back, but that's just awful. Mumbai has grown. Again, you're going to be running out of decent tiles to work soon, but I think we'll just leave you like that. Um, and we're going to build a farm over here, so let's get that worked on. And we've got a cargo ship that was going to... Well, you can go to Zhenzhou. It's worth a lot more. So let's go and do that. Yeah, I think cargo ships will definitely be the way forwards in the future. Borders of Mumbai have grown to... Well, nothing really. At least by these borders growing, it'll sort of give them a little bit more attrition when they're trying to get these annoying uh, missionaries in. So many of them. Just hoping Delhi flips back over. We, we're we the tech leader already, which is amazing. There's still um, three players that we haven't met. Or three AI that we haven't met. We finished the university. This is in uh, Vijayanagar. Does anything here give us um, any sort of tourism? Some stuff gives us culture, which is good. Um, I think what we'd like to do, though... Well, there's quite a lot of stuff that I'd like to do. We do have some horses here. But uh, no sheep or cattle in range, so we wouldn't get an awful lot from this stable. But having one's not a bad idea. Uh, we could get the circus. The extra happiness will always come in handy later on. And then um, we probably will get a workshop. Now, we're not working the university slots at the moment, but that's fine. You guys have finished that pretty quickly. I'd like you to uh, construct a road then. We'll road over to Vijayanagar just so we've got a, a shortcut. Uh, you want me to give you money. Um, you can go right away. Uh, the, this deal has faded, has it? Okay, what about six then? It's like everyone's getting their own spices, really. Doesn't look like we've got anything else spare that we can sell, though, at the moment. So that's a little bit of a shame. But yeah, we do want to keep building, get, getting some units out so we can go up against uh, Korea as quickly as possible. We're working on gunpowder now anyway. We'll probably have to get some iron in order to be able to upgrade our swordsmen. Because, yeah, it says we don't have enough iron to upgrade the unit. So we'll have to get some from somewhere. Uh, you can carry on back to uh, Zhenzhou. Because you'll probably get another round trip done before we've got enough trebuchets and units to really handle you. Although, of course, we are noticing Shaka's popping up here now. Now then, who has some iron that we might be able to buy? Um, Germany likes me. Do you have iron? You do not have iron. Okay, what about Poland? You don't have iron either. So nobody has any iron. So we might just end up having to manually build some. We can build another plantation over here now. We won't be able to work the tile, but at least we'll have some extra dice that we can sell. Yeah, war declared on us from Shaka. Well, we did expect that was going to happen. Okay, let's get the camera in place. Now, we don't want to lose these guys here. We do have a fort, but we can't really get to it. We've already taken some damage on this swordsman. Uh, let's go and um, do as much damage as possible to some of these units. It's being protected by a trireme. Very, very annoying of you there, um, Shaka. This worker's in a little bit of trouble, but I don't think they can reach him, so we should be okay. Got another war elephant that we can bring up here and fire pot shots with. So let's bring you forward. So you can't reach because the forest's in the way. That's a bit of a shame. Let's move you to there then. And then you can fire. You actually do quite a lot of damage. Um, I thought we had another war elephant somewhere. Apparently we do not. Let's go ahead and bring this swordsman um, towards the front line as well. Uh, you guys start working on that plantation. 
Now then, what do we want to do with this guy? Because you're probably going to get killed by that impy if we're not careful. I assumed this attack was going to come sooner or later. It's a little bit of a shame. I wasn't expecting it quite this early. We really need some iron. Not having any iron is meaning that um, these guys fight at reduced effectiveness. A strategic resource penalty minus 50%. So they're really, really bad. Um, we're probably going to lose that unit. But if it slows him down a little bit... Yeah, so we did lose that unit. We've also lost our worker. I'm surprised he did manage to uh, get the capture there. So that's quite annoying. Um, let's attempt as much as possible to um, get our worker back. I mean, I know we stole it in the first place, really, so it doesn't matter all that much. But I don't want to lose my worker. Um, we can fire with the elephant. We can move after firing. So, oh, this is out of moves. We're supposed to be able to move after firing. So we can't get our workers back. Well, I'm sorry, Shaka, but I think it's time for you to die. We've got zone of control issues going on here, but if you're going to put impies out in the water, I will attack them. Um, you're, again, you've got the same problem that the other guy had, but we'll get you... Uh, oh, we can actually... Um, Let's move you on to the uh, workers there. We'll take our unit back. Unit needs orders. We've got our great writer. Let's create a great work. Happy is the man who has broken the. I don't necessarily think we might lose a few units here, but I don't necessarily think that we are going to be too heavily stomped. But it's just annoying because obviously it slows down our progress of things. Which is something we don't want to happen. I wasn't ex I was expecting a declaration of war from Shaka. I wasn't expecting it as early as we got it. So hopefully we can um, we can hit you from there. Can't quite finish you off, unfortunately. Um, you guys carry on building a road. So unfortunately, we did lose uh, a war elephant. The impies are actually quite strong. I was going to. Uh, so this is the other problem. We can't really take Alundi because we can't take capitals. We can't. We can't. Um, we can't raise them. So that's always going to be a problem. Uh, we've finished the university here. I think we need to get ourselves another war elephant. Um, you guys just go on to alert. We just lose another unit. We've got a great artist. What did we just lose there? Lost a crossbowman. Which again, this is all getting very, very unfortunate. But we'll do as much damage as possible. Sort of move you... So you've got zone of control issues again. So I can't really move you out of the way. Let's go to Delhi and we'll purchase another war elephant here. Uh, can't use it on this turn. We'll also produce a university because we'll need that. Um, let's also start bringing this crossbowman forwards. And we can... Um, we'll purchase another war elephant. We've got plenty of money, so let's start doing that. This war elephant is going to have, um, looks like mainly rough terrain, so let's go with barrage. Um, we don't have any place for a great work of music right now. So you are going to have to um, sleep. We will need to build somewhere where we can use that. Um, you guys have finished. I'd like to get another fort up here, but obviously it's dangerous to try and do so at the moment. Let's come down here so we can get a farm. I don't really think those impies can do much damage to me. I mean, yeah, sure, they're going to loot and stuff and, and be a pain in the ass that way. But um, let's see if we can finish you off with the crossbowman. Unfortunately not. I'll try and do as much damage here as we can with these um, elephant archers. Haven't really got the uh, the 
the room to get in and do anything. Got another war elephant over here. Let's get you down to the front as well. Now, you might get attacked. Yeah, we'd get totally wrecked um, here. So, we are going to, um, to back up. You're going to come with us as well. Uh, you can't hit anything from there, so just go on to alert. He's going to run out of units before I do, I would have thought. Mind you, you never know with the AI, because it is a cheating bastard, let's be honest. Um, let's go ahead and use this crossbowman to finish off this guy at the back, because he's very weak. Let's use these elephant archers to do as much damage as we can to this impi at the front. Um, you want barrage. There's another one down. So, again, we're taking a few losses, but that's fine. Um, can't even buy another raw elephant because we have a unit already in the city, which is a little bit unfortunate. That's a lot of impies. Yeah, you guys really need to upgrade. If there was somebody that I could buy iron from... But nobody... You have iron, or at least you had iron... You do have iron. I want to buy it from you. You don't need open borders. I'll give you three gold per turn. There we go. So we've got the iron now. So what we can do is we can upgrade this swordsman to a knight. And you guys might as well just, I don't know, work on a farm or something for the time being you guys work on a farm as well let's go on to the next turn see what damage we take obviously we're getting a few things pillaged that we need to deal with city is taking a little bit of damage but overall we are good let's use this war elephant at the back to hit this one you are promoted we'll use you to try and attack this one if we can Didn't quite get you finished off. Another war elephant we can move forward. You've got the problem with the hill being in the way though. And I don't want to move too far forward. So I think we'll just stay there and um, ready up. He's got very limited room where he can get in to try and attack. So we do have that going for us. We could take this long swordsman and go and attack that MP. And I think we should. And then sit in the um, sit in the fort. So I think that's what we will do. Um, you guys again just go on to alert. And I've just seen the time. I probably should have uh, stopped this a little while ago. But um, we will... Uh, yes, we will resolve this on the next video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Civilization V. I'll see you next time. And until then, goodbye for now.